You know, I'm not even a massive supporter of the military and the military industrial complex, but when people serve your country and they put their lives at risk, you should take care of them. You know, you should take care of them. If your government send them out to go in Iraq or uh, Mali or Somalia or whatever country and put themselves at risk for you on, on uh, the idea that they're protecting Canada or helping people, which a lot of the times, you know, they're not. But because you send these people to their deaths, essentially, or, or trying to maim them, we, we should take care of them. We should make sure that they're not struggling, that they're not living on the streets. But, you know, increasingly so that I see that all the time. I've spoken to many bums on the street that were uh, ex-veterans. So that, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable that we treat our own people like that. And it's just come out recently that Trudeau, to save money, is going to be cutting $1.8 billion dollars from the veterans pension plan so now they're going to be getting substantially less amount of money than they were getting before and they weren't happy with harper's plan either but the, this new plan is going to be even worse and like i said they're going to be cutting 1.8 billion dollars that's a good amount of money these people are not going to be receiving like oh don't worry it's going to be more efficient blah 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 well we'll see about that we'll fucking see about that but you know he makes cuts like this he, he's buying secondhand jets from Australia right now. You know, it, it's he, he's, he's got like a bare bones budget and we're buying like useless antiquated technology. I remember like a year or so ago, he told all the old veterans to send in their like sleeping bags for the new recruits or some bullshit. So it, it's like, what the fuck is going on in the goddamn military? You know, we got that Sikh guy running the place. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but that was clearly a diversity hire or some shit because he is totally fucking the military. And you see what they're doing, how they treat people who don't vote for them. You know, because I'm assuming a lot of the troops probably vote conservative or uh, they're, they're white males, <laughs> a lot of them. So it's like, fuck you. If we're going to make cuts... It's going to be in, in your area. If we're going to save money, it's, we're going to be taking it from you. And then we're going to be spending $5 billion on foreign spending, on foreign aid. $5 billion, okay, on people that we don't need to help. That money, that money's not even helping them generally. And, you know, we could be, at least we have this socialist goddamn system we're using right now. At least we could spend that money on our own goddamn people on people that have, like, are missing limbs, you know, <laughs> what was their girl fighting in court uh, just a little while ago, she has, like, no legs and all this other shit, and, and she, like, lost her baby or something, and they're, like, fighting her in court, but they're going to give Omar Kadar and they're going to settle for that and give him $10 million right off the bat, you know, it just came out recently that Ottawa owed the veterans like two two hundred million dollars in back pay that they that they haven't been paying them because of fuck ups and shit. But you know, just because I guess they had to do that, they're like, well, now we're gonna cut one point eight billion dollars from your funding. Fuck you. That's pretty much what they're telling us. They're telling veterans, fuck you. You don't vote for me. This is how you're gonna get treated. We're gonna make cuts. <laughs> You know, just throwing money away, spending $2 billion on the fucking illegal aliens that are coming here. What about all the money that's costing us? You know, that could go to help veterans. And a lot of veterans sleeping on the fucking street right now are doing that because of the shelters are full, 4%, 50% of refugees that should not be in Canada. So, you know, open your eyes, people understand this guy doesn't care about you actions speak louder than words what more do you need to see what more do you need <laughs> just look at his spending we're our, our spending is outrageous right now and this is where he's making cut it's this is this is obvious he's telling us i hate you i don't like you and i need a little bit more money to make the budget make the uh you know, my, my uh, sheets look better or something, so we're, we're going to make a little bit of cuts here. You know, this will teach you for not voting liberal. 
you better vote liberal next time. Otherwise, this is going to continue to fucking happen. Because if they did vote liberal, they'd have a massive budget, probably be increased by three, four, five billion dollars already. You know, they have money for all of these things all over the world, all these useless things, but none for people who sacrificed and put their lives at fucking risk for the goddamn country, trying to protect the goddamn country. But, you know, I don't expect much better from this fucking administration. And truth, truthfully told, the conservatives were not much better when it came to the veterans. You know, ultimately, the military industrial complex is just a big fucking jobs program. And, you know, we're, we're just, uh, you know, doing that or we're, we're going and uh, doing peacekeeping missions and just just doing absolutely nothing. You know, we, I mean, we need some military to obviously protect Canada, but it should, it should go more towards that. We shouldn't be buying uh, useless fucking antiquated fighter jets from Australia. They're probably like, look at these stupid fucking Canadians. We're going to sell, sell them our secondhand you shit and we're gonna get all this new stuff like f for fuck's sakes man what are you doing like you're putting us in a really bad spot if we do need to protect ourselves and get into a, some type of conflict like it, it makes no sense you know it, buying these secondhand jets as well it's just like a waste of money like you're, you know they're they're the technology is not going to be as good and it's going to be it's going to get older faster you know something new is going to come out and replace everything it's <laughs> these things will be completely useless so you know i don't you know they're they're just they're just throwing money around everywhere else and you know being stupid when it comes to the military but like you know they're they're, they're fucking liberal idiots so what what else do you fucking expect or maybe they're doing this on purpose they're purposely trying to weaken the military so then they could i don't know have a, a fucking world fucking army with the U with the Europe or something, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll team up with Europe and be like, come protect us or something. I, I don't know. Or they'll, they'll hire some Muslim army or something from Saudi Arabia or China, you know, because we love China. Apparently we, we like, we'll give them a pass on anything. They steal 13 Canadians, just t little chirps about it. Absolutely nothing just silence you know they can do whatever the fuck they want in china it's hilarious they can like detain and do all this shit to muslims all these whatever muslims and no, no peep from uh from canada whatever let let them do what they want but I'm getting a little bit off track here but you know uh, just just fucked up shit coming more fucked up shit coming out of canada that just makes you kind of like what the fuck is going on what i hope canadians are seeing this and understanding the impacts of the decisions that this guy is making and what's going to have on the future of Canada because it's not good. The deficits are not going to be paid off until 2040. That's what he said, but it's probably much worse. It's probably much fucking worse. You know, look at Ontario when Doug Ford got in there. All oh, the deficits, you know, the, the, the debt sounded really bad even before he got in there. And then they come in, do some audit. Okay, it's even worse. So <laughs> never even believe the numbers that liberals, they'll fucking give you. They lie to you all the fucking time. Not just liberals. Conservatives do too. But liberals in Canada are, are much worse. And the NDP is, is just as fucking bad. But that's all I had to say. If you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya. Oh, I'm trying to to uh, delete this here.